So we're going to use, of course, the famous bottom chick, pink press on gel. Apply it to the contact area. And let us apply to the nail bed. Because this color is a little bit more opaque than a clear, or if we were just doing a pink press on gel by itself, actually she needs more. Because the apex is so dramatic on these phalanges. Let's add a little bit more. We're gonna freeze cure or flash cure for a little bit longer. first for about 10 seconds and the top of the phalange I think I'm in new batteries too I see a purple Inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Oh, yeah, Max. Hello, hello. I'm here, she said. Hi from Delaware. Hi, Max. Hi, sweetie. Happy. Oh, today's Wednesday here. I see a lot of purples. The girls want their purple. And again, you guys, I apologize if I can't get to every single comment. I don't know what is up with this apparatus. Did you find a box of it?
turned really, really super straight. You want that nail as skinny as possible. Unless you like white nails, then that's how you get your, you know, your gig. So we can do a little bit of A pink, or we can do pink press under. Let's just do a little bit of A pink back here. And actually, the nail slid inside the lamp, so she's a little bit too far, but we're gonna hide that line of demarcation using the more advanced technique. So a nice little layer over the whole phalange. Liner brush. seconds and then we're gonna freeze it okay don't forget you guys if you look here in Merca we have that sale all bits 20% off using promo code whoops bids 20 bye bye let's freeze that for just a few seconds also I do want to update you guys on the black French we are expected to ship them out uh, anywhere between July 12th and July 15th so all of you that pre-ordered the black french we are greatly appreciated of your patience and all the girls that are asking about the restock for the ones that did not get uh, to pre-order you can expect to order anywhere from july 12th through the 15th is the eta of the launch i'm using a pink number three and rose gold diamond polish from yours today on my set, maybe some stickers as well, and some diamonds. Murica. So now we're going to do a little layer of shiny over the entire phalange. And this is the hack when we do French gel polish, okay? Why do we put shiny over the entire nail? 10 points to who can answer. Make sure the shiny is all the way to the sides too, and a super thin wiper brush on the inside of the bottle. Okay, and then wipe the sides, wipe the sides, make sure everything is nice and even. Bye Lena, don't party again too much. Promise. You partied enough already this weekend? Wow, must be nice, Lena. Living the dream. We're gonna bake this now for one minute. Let me read the comments on the other one. So that way I can see what's going on. Party too much, Renee. You for sure like to party. 
but no sticky layer. Yes, we don't want a sticky layer. Easier to clean the smile line. That is correct. We have a winner. Winner winner chicken dinner. Do you guys want me to show you the book, the new brush that I'm like though? Should I give you a little tease? A little, little tease? Of the new brush? Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a little, a little tease of the new brush. Oh, I hope you love it. You'll be getting it soon. So if we start to polish a French fantasy on top of a buffed surface or on top of a cured base coat, on top of a cured color, we're not going to be able to get a super sharp smile line when we clean it because when we go in with the brush, it's going to drag because of the surface. But when she's cured all the way through with shiny or with wonder gel, when you clean, it's going to be super sharp and we'll see that today. I'll show you guys a quick little tease of the brush that's coming out later this year for polishing French. Super, super quick, okay? Because then I don't want anybody asking me, when is it coming out? When is it coming out? Because it's going to be a while before she's done, but that's what she's going to look like and that's all you see. No more. No more. That's it. Let's get a color. Let's get... is BB-96 for the Lavender Fantasy and because all of our gels are manufactured using the same raw materials the same ingredients when we cook you don't have to worry about anything peeling or slipping or yellowing because our products do not do that look at that coverage though like she is no joke mom See, and you don't have to polish it pretty, you don't have to do anything. Just slap it on and we're gonna clean her up. And to clean, I'm going to use today, I'm gonna use my Sailor Magic Acrylic Brush. And this is actually monomer from yesterday, mixed with acetone. And then start in the middle. I'm gonna give her a little trim though. Start in the middle right here and then to the side, to the side. See, if you were trying to do this with an above surface, on an edge surface, trust, it would not be cute. And then we get frustrated and then we're like, ah, forget it. See, but when you put shiny underneath, Seamlessness, dopeness. And if you make a mistake, it's so much easier to clean up too.
how sharp that is. She is stunning. So before we bake her, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove any excess gel on the side. So I'm going to saturate a Luxe brush wipe with either acetone or with our famous hand sanitizer. And you're just going to run it on the sides to remove any excess gel polish that might have ran. And keep her as skinny as possible. And it's not going to leave any fibers on the nail. Let's bake her for 30 seconds. And then we're going to add some Zebra Fantasy. Juan, dale esa misma porfa que venga. We're going to use just our regular black gel polish. 002, number one in the universe, you guys. She is famous. She's a real celebrity. So, do you guys like this little French hack? It's super easy, right? So, dip it in. See, now I just made you 700 liners. Save you some money. And then touch, press, pull, and go up. And do all of the lines, all different. You don't want them the same. Because if it's the same, then the fantasy is not going to be there. Okay? Remember, nail art is supposed to be fun. Enjoy yourself. Don't overthink it. Don't overcomplicate it. you guys if any of you have seen the new purge forever movie let me know in the comments below if she's good or not i just recently watched the purge for the first time and i was like oh she's a little low budget fun my love add the dimension add the fantasy
kind of movie, watching Loki and Manifest on the streams. I think I've seen previews of it, but haven't actually watched the full thing yet. I heard such great reviews, I want to see it soon. I love your pep talks, Max. You make it look so easy, and the way you talk to us is calming and helpful. You're a nail inspiration speaker. I try. I like to consider myself now the uh, Elon Musk of the nail industry. I think that's a better comparison than uh, Kylie Jenner, I guess. I mean, Kylie Jenner, she does pretty well, too, even though her products are not very good. ColourPop is also, gosh, all those like influencer makeup brands are, no thank you, really, really hard to blend out. Even ColourPop too. I tried ColourPop not that long, uh, maybe a year or two ago. I bought their orange, their peach uh, eyeshadow palette because I love orange eyeshadows and pinkish eyeshadows. I was like, why doesn't it blend out? Why is like, why does it look like I'm going to war in the Amazon? So I got my squeezy ready right here so we can begin the blingification of the phalange. The code for the discount on the bits is BITS20 and it takes 20% off BITS. My mom didn't like them either. So we're going to take some squeezy and we're just going to add a few diamonds here and there and everywhere for the fantasy. You know what's a really good makeup brand that not that many people talk about anymore is MAC. Legit, Max makes Mac makes really really great eyeshadows. Their uh, Studio Fix foundation is a little, you know, she looks painted, but a lot of other stuff from Mac is quite good actually. And I'm surprised not that many people talk about Mac anymore. I don't know if it's because they test on animals, but. A lot of brand, if you sell in other countries, and certain countries will require that from you, that you have to, they test on animals, we don't. Um, but if the product is being sold in that country, it has to be tested on animals. And I mean, it's better that they test it on a rat than they test it on a human, I think. Unless you like rats, then we can't be friends. At least once a week, wow. That's a, a to-go palette. That's like a ride or die right there. I don't remember off the top of my head the exact list of countries that by law have to test on animals. And that's cosmetics, not nail products actually. But like anything that goes on the skin. Because nail products, remember, are not designed to go on the skin. They go on the phalange, not on the, epi the epidermis. We avoid skin contact as much as possible. Isn't she cute? She's starting to come together. So you know Emmy's on the same page as me. MAC lipsticks are my favorite. MAC makes really good eyeshadows. Uh, who else makes really good eyeshadows? Too Faced, actually. I like Too Faced. Too Faced has some cute stuff. But you know what? That's the interesting thing about makeup is that on some people she can slay and other people you're like, ugh. It reacts to everyone's skin differently. Oops.
Look at our diamonds, you guys. Like, that shine. So stunning. And our rhinestones cost a fraction of the price of an Austrian crystal. Trust. Now we're gonna bake this for one minute and cut the dazzling one. Really, really pigmented, so I think for me they might be a little bit too heavy. Because I like to uh, almost create a wash. The eyeshadows that I use, I just do a quick swipe and then blend it out with a big brush. But I know uh, my Urban Decay. <laughs> you know what's another really good brand that a lot of people sleep on? Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever's got some really serious stuff. NARS. There we have a look at that. Isn't she cute? One of my favorite face powders, because you guys know I hate face powder. One of the best face powders in the industry is Makeup Forever HD Powder. Nars, that's right. And I can't say that word, but that is a very good blush. Do you do makeup tutorials? I don't, but I actually took a class on how to do makeup when I was in South Korea. I might do a tutorial when I release my eyeshadow palette or um, my eyelashes. Do you guys think you love it? Are we living for this fantasy? Are we living for the 90s baddie Barbie French fantasy for the girls, for the phalanges? that smile line. So easy to do too. If you guys want to see these four being done, check out my IG as well. And then of course the thumb was for the girls, for the Facebook. Well my love, that's going to wrap it up for today's demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to see you guys also paint some French nails using the little hack that we did today. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody.